Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have received a total of nine nominations ahead of this year's London Football Awards and the club have just confirmed that Ryan Sessegnon has undergone surgery to his right hamstring following an injury during an under-21s match. Chris Cowley Fan Cows Club News Transfer News Match previews, legend interviews, Spurs women, press conferences, covering everything Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with an official club statement released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Monday. It states Ryan Sessegnon has undergone surgery to his right hamstring following an injury during an under-21s match. The 23-year-old will continue to be closely monitored by our medical team to determine when he can return to training. Ryan Sessegnon took to social media straight after Tottenham's announcement. Ryan Sessegnon wrote the following on Instagram and X. Gutted beyond belief, just when I saw the light at the end of the tunnel and thought I was back doing what I love, I've hit another setback. I've been down this road before. I will pick myself up, stay headstrong and begin my recovery in the best way possible. Having been through an operation and the recovery on my other hamstring last year and knowing how strong that hamstring is now, I know this is the best solution to put an end to the reoccurring issues. Sessegnon then went on to say thank you to those who have sent messages of support. I can't express how it feels. We're all human at the end of the day and I'm devastated more than anyone to have a setback. I'll do everything I can to be back out on that pitch. Speaking on behalf of anyone who's been in this situation, please be careful what you say online. Words hurt and no one chooses to be in this position. In a recent interview with the Tottenham Hotspur programme, Brennan Johnson on who is the biggest joker in the Tottenham Hotspur squad, he said, I'm going to have to say Pedro Poro. He is a great guy, always happy, always planning something. If he is around you, you have to look out. On Monday, it was announced by Spurs that Mason King has signed his first professional contract with the club. The 18-year-old has been a regular starter for our under-18 side this season, impressing both at left-back and at centre-half. Having joined our academy at the age of 10, Mason has risen through the ranks and went full-time with us as a scholar in July 2022. During the 2022-2023 campaign, he was part of the Under-17 Premier League Cup winning squad and also played in the early rounds of our journey to victory in the Under-18 Premier League Cup as we completed a historic double at youth team level. Spurs have received a total of nine nominations ahead of this year's London Football Awards, the most of any club in the capital. Awards which celebrate the very best of football in London. This year we have been shortlisted nine times across eight categories with members of our men's first team, women's first team and foundation all up for prizes. Beginning with our men's first team, head coach Postacoglu has been nominated for the Manager of the Year Award, while Vicario and Poro are up for two awards each. Having enjoyed sublime campaigns to date in Lily White, the pair are each vying for the Premier League Player of the Year Award, while Vicario has been nominated for the Goalkeeper of the Year Award, and Pedro Poro is up for the LFA Goal of the Season Award for his January strike against Burnley. To round off our men's first team nominees, Papa Matasar and Destiny Udoggi have both been shortlisted for the Men's Young Player of the Year Award. Postacoglu is nominated for the Manager of the Year Award. Meanwhile, our women's first team have received two nominations, with Martha Thomas and Grace Clinton have been shortlisted for prizes. Firstly, Martha Thomas, who bagged a brace to help Scotland to the Pinatar Cup final on Saturday, is in the running for the FA WSL Women's Player of the Year Award, uh, while Grace Clinton, who scored her first England goal on Friday, is up for the Women's Young Player of the Year Award. 
Our foundation also received a nomination for a prize at the London Football Awards with our Move For You programme, a programme of 12 physical activity sessions for residents of Haringey, Enfield and surrounding boroughs who have had cancer diagnosis in the last five years, shortlisted for the Community Project of the Year. Finally, former manager Harry Redknapp will receive the award for outstanding contribution to London football at the ceremony. The winners of the awards will be announced on Thursday the 29th of February in an awards evening at the Roundhouse in Camden, London. One Premier League game took place on Monday evening. West Ham United beating Brentford 4-2 at the London Stadium. Jared Bowen scored a hat-trick for the Hammers. Uh, West Ham United are now up to 8th in the table. They have 39 points from 26 games. Spurs, of course, are 5th. We have 47 points from 25 matches. We are next in action this Saturday against Crystal Palace at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 3pm kickoff. We are 5 points away from 4th place Aston Villa, who have, who have 52 points from 26 games we are 13 points away from league leaders Liverpool who have 60 points from 26 games now my thoughts and comments on everything in this episode let's start by talking about Ryan Sessegnon I tell you what the guy just cannot catch a break right now injury after injury after injury I remember when we signed Ryan Sessegnon or when we were on the verge of signing him, everyone wanted the deal to be done. Everyone was super excited about Sessegnon signing from Fulham to Tottenham. Um, the goals, his assists, etc. for Fulham uh, certainly got the um, Spurs fan base super excited um, about signing him. Ever since he has signed for Spurs, he has had nothing but injury problems. But I completely get where he's coming from. He needs the support from the Tottenham Hotspur fan base. He does not need abuse. I know I've seen a lot of abuse about Ryan Sessegnon um, and it is not the time. Um, you know, the guy needs support. He needs to be playing football again. Uh, and of course, you know, he wants to be playing football. Um, it is not like someone just wants to be picking up wages and not playing what you've dreamed of as a kid. Um, he wants to be playing. Um, I just feel gutted for him because it must take its toll uh, on you physically and certainly mentally uh, not playing football for so long. And it looked like he got back. He, he played some minutes in the FA Cup clash. Um, and then, of course, he played for the under 21s. He picked up another injury. Um, and, you know, I just wish him all of the very best speedy recovery and, uh, you know, to stay strong mentally and, uh, you know, to come back as soon as possible. And uh, let's hope that we will see him in a Spurs shirt uh, before the end of the season. That might be doubtful, though, because uh, I have read reports that, you know, he could now be out for 12 weeks. Um, so, you know, it'd be interesting to see whether Ryan Sessegnon is still a Spurs player um, at the start of next season and uh, whether he will be in Ange Postacoglu's plans or not. Um, Spurs have received a total of nine nominations ahead of this year's uh, London Football Awards, which of course take place in London on Thursday. I'm going to this award ceremony. I cannot wait. Um, Papa Matasar and of course Destiny Udogi are up for the Young Player of the Year Award. Um, there is no reason why one of those players shouldn't win this award. They have been exceptional, both of them, especially Destiny Udogi. Oh, actually, same same with Saar. They're, they're both been exceptional. I'm not going to choose one of them over the other. Um, of course, Postacoglu has done a great job since he's came in. Um, interestingly, though, this is called Manager of the Year. Um, and of course, Postacoglu only uh, started or only came in um, in the summer. Um, so whether one of the other managers will win it uh, because they've been um, at their respective club for longer, that'll be interesting. Um, no Sonny on the list, uh, which is quite strange to see. Uh, normally when you have lots of nominations um, and short lists, you normally see Hunmin Son's name there, uh, but not this time. Vicario has had a, fa a fantastic season since he's come in um, at the football club, and uh, you know there's no reason why Vicario shouldn't lift this award. So hopefully on Thursday evening we will see a couple of Spurs players lift a couple of trophies. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.